All right, here we are in the pits at Alltech Raceway Park tonight for our pro late model feature here, and we, we grabbed up Trey Pearsons. And Trey, uh, we've been talking a few minutes here, just having a good time kind of talking about your career and stuff like that. And this year is going to be your first year in Florida's most prestigious late model race, the Powell Family Memorial. Man, what do you think about that? Are you anticipating that race? I mean, I know you've been doing some racing around here in Georgia, but is that one of the races that you're really anticipating? Oh, I promise you, I'm ready for it because everybody that's even remotely close around here, that's where they're going to show up to be, and that's where they're going to bring their A game. So, so when we show up there, we got to be the best we can be. No, regard. Don't get me wrong. These, I, Come on now. You're good. These weeks around here, it's tough racing with Jason Fitzgerald and Mark Whitener. <laughs> they uh, they bring their A game no matter where they go. So. Uh, it's tough, but it's fun. It's a, it's definitely a, a big learning curve. Don't get me wrong, but it's uh, the competition you got to run up front with these guys. It's a big confidence booster. Well, I'll tell you, um, you know, I've been watching you for a while, and you've this year you jumped in a late model as a as a, a rookie in a late model, and you really have shined in that car. How has it? I mean, you've got some pretty big shoes to fill. But how has it helped you being on the road with Lucas Oil and then coming back to work and kind of working with Jason Fitzgerald? How is that helping you develop as a driver? Well, you sit there and you I, – I went on tour with my dad for a year and a countless summers during my school years. So you sit there and go to 70-plus races a year with your dad and you sit there and every time he comes off the track, you listen to what he has to say. When he makes changes, you watch the car, how it reacts to him. So when you do that for 20 plus years since I've been going, you learn a very lot in different tracks and all that. So you learn a lot doing that, just watching him and listening to him, especially being my dad who he is. So yeah. it helps out a lot. Well, and this year's Pal Memorial is, uh, we talked about how big of a deal it is. This year is a two day format. I'm um, going to be qualifying and heat races Friday night, June 7th. Saturday night, June 8th, is going to be the 67-lap main event. And that's how you kind of want to get into that thing. You're not looking to go through a B main, are you? No, I hope not. I hope and pray that we can – I'd like to run up front there in the heat race and start up front in that thing. And I don't want to be too confident and say I'm going to lead every lap, but to run up front that whole race – the competition that I, I know will show up because I was there last year to watch. So to run up front, to start up front, that would be a, probably a dream come true for there. Yeah, last year Whitener started up front and led 50-plus laps of that thing, and that kind of it kind of played into to a tire game last year. You know, over 350 laps run on the racetrack last year. This year with the two-day format, uh, it's going to change that tire game altogether, isn't it? Well, and now that they do the Thursday night practice there, so you're going to have three days on the track, so it's definitely going to be a tire game. And that's one lucky thing I've learned from my dad, and he's one of the best there is in a t the tire game. So he'll, that'll help me a lot. So hopefully we can get the job done. So running Volusia Speedway Park, you've got a little bit of experience over there. This year you've been there in a late model, and you, and you did pretty good. What's your preferred line around Volusia Speedway? I try to run the bottom middle more like the middle to keep my momentum up because that's a, a everybody knows that's a momentum track so if you can run around the middle there and keep the car up under you you usually run up front so hopefully we can make that happen so what would it mean for you just to make that race i mean that's pretty pretty special deal isn't it oh uh, for the competition that's going to be there to even make the race it'd be a big confidence booster being my first year in a car so if we can make that happen it'll be a dream come true Absolutely. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This year's Powell Memorial, June 6th, 7th, and 8th, two-day format, 67 laps, starting out at $10,000. Last year, we grew that purse. Last year, there was $20,000 spread out in the top five, and this year, uh, there's opportunities for sponsors to come on board right now. So. You can contact Volusia Speedway Park or Tom Whipple if you're interested in coming on board and sponsoring the Powell Memorial this year. For Trey Pearson's Joe Kelly Dirt Dauber video, thank you. We're done.